Sound trap? More like sound scrap. Oh my god. This music maker program sucks. This music maker program ruins Spotify, but it can't because they are even unrelated. Anyways, this music maker program doing some stupid sound fonts that were recorded by their instruments so that they could add notes from their own creativity project. They make stupid music that they're lousy, especially from the group, and they allowed you to input mp3 or downloadable mp3 files. This is going way too far as a disaster as hell. I hate the fact how someone could really use this project to make some mashups and etc. Well, I used to like this music maker program, but from now on I don't. I like this music maker program since in the end of September before it's the first day of October from 2021, and back then I started to lose my interest on this sound font on the end of February before it's the first day of March from last year lately. I hope this music maker gets sued by FL Studio soon. Who likes this program? Ronald 929 Marshall. He formerly used this program on his second channel until the day of Christmas of July. Who hates this program? Alex Demon Slayer and Mickey Mouse fan. He hates this program since back then on the month of September from last year. So screw Soundtrap, or should I say, more like Screw Trap. And screw Spotify kids, Garage Band is 700 million times better this sounds crap. End of rant.